welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to share you how to make a STL file so I'm going to make a simple ring in this video I'm using a circle so I'm going to initialize I make this by 8 because I'm going to I'm sorry maybe by 6 hexagon and then go to make it polymers so I'm using in this uh, video the Z modeler extrude all polygon and then also this one extrude but polypop and control so have a new outside polygon and then I'm going, I'm going to separate this one uh, split by group that's it I have this one delete others and then I am extrude one more to make the thickness of the ring that's enough I need more white space bar to pop up this one delete it complete and again I'm going to make a bevel on this one just little bit something like that actually you can uh, cut this and then make a mirror so the bevel will be the same but in this video I don't do that because I want more a uh, simple look for the design and this is still the active point is very low so I have to make a little bit uh, subdivision by take off the smooth one through that's enough and then I add some text So before continue let me figure out the size for the ring first so I'm going to Rhino Gold that I have already opened here so I just have uh, the size here so usually for make size 7 on the design I have to make a 7 and 3 quarter because it's shrinked on the molding up and casting so I'm using seven and three quarter and the diameter is about 18 so back here I have to prepare this is in mm 
already and then I just back to out here I'm sorry escape so I have to measure this uh, inside here uh, 18 and then we go to here I'll click here And mostly when I make the stem, this is uh, approximately uh, 0 0.4 for the inside. So I have to make a little wider for this one. well that's approximately like that one and then go to inside here and then check again here little bit approximately this scene up. and then also this is too rough for the police so I have to take off this I'm sorry one two three and then I have made more police I'm sorry, too much. This. That's enough. And then going to like Boolean here. Sub two. That's it. And then going to make a Boolean mess. And this one is the result. And then rename this. And then we check one more time for the size here. I think it's still eighteen. And then, and the active point here, I have to make a little bit low because when uh, make the STL not too high so I have to make a destination master here and then process current and then I'm using 20k here because this is simple ring, not so much uh, the tile for the carping. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm using 20k and this is becoming low. This is 18, 18 mm and then we go to 3D print hub and the base size is this is and the size option we have to check the X because we base on the X here and then we go to 19 here I'm sorry to the 18 that's it and then up the size this all change and now we go back to uh, this outside now this is around twenty let me check again here yes twenty and then we put here one more time twenty and then up the size okay they change already and then right now we're going to export this file and then one more thing if we have a lot of file in the sub tool here they will uh, i mean zbrush will figure out all the sub tool here so i so for each year i just uh, make only single file in the sub tool so when i export they ha i have only one single file as well as so export to stl and then ship so now we will check dimension horizontal well this is a 17 point I'm sorry 17.86 so almost the same with the size I mean approximately that's very good for uh, printing and also the file size is not so high so they will be good for print in uh, basis on the resin printing machine thank you very much for watching bye bye